Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick tutorial on exporting to RAIN from Terrigen. In this video, we'll cover two ways of exporting to RAIN, as a height field and as a 3D object. There are also links in the description to a third, more advanced way to export to RAIN as a vector displacement map. We'll start out in the default scene, where I've applied an alpine fractal terrain to the standard setup. Now, let's say that we want to export this mountain in the middle here. We'll first look at how to export it as a height map. One thing I like to do to make this easier is to first create a simple shape shader to outline the area to export. Let's first switch over to Ray Traced Preview, come into the Shaders tab, and add a new color shader, Simple Shape Shader. We'll copy the coordinates of the mountain into the shader position, and then adjust the size of the simple shape to cover the desired area. That looks pretty good. Next, we're going to add a height field generate node to the very end of our terrain nodes, like so. Make sure to plug the terrain into the shader input of the height field generate node. Open the height field node and copy the size of our simple shape shader into the size of the height field. Then come into the Use Shader tab, click Position Center, and copy the position of the simple shape into the position of our height field. This will allow us to generate a height field from our procedural terrain in the same size and shape as a simple shape shader that's coloring our terrain. The resolution of the generated height field is controlled by the number of points. Go ahead and click Generate Now to create the height field. Now, the important part, which isn't obvious, this will allow you to save the height map as either a Terrigen height field file or an open EXR image. Let's choose EXR for now. Now we can open the height field in another program. For example, let's hop over to Gaia and add some erosion to our mountain. The second export method we'll cover is to export the 3D geometry of our terrain using the micro exporter. To do this, first we'll position the camera so that all the terrain we want to export is in the field of view. Save this camera view, and then come to the renderers tab. Under the sequence output tab, check the micro exporter button, click the plus button to the right and create a new micro exporter. Next. Open the newly created micro exporter and choose a file name for the exported file. You can choose from several file formats. I'm going to choose OBJ for now. When we render the image, the micro exporter will export the terrain in the camera view at a distance between the near and far distances selected. The detail of the terrain is controlled by the micropoly detail setting of the renderer. Let's try this now. Now we can open the exported OBJ in the 3D application of our choice. In this case, just the 3D viewer in Windows. The exported geometry can be huge if the detail setting is high. Terrigen isn't really designed with exporting your scene in mind, more for importing and compositing, but this will give you a couple options if they're needed. 